What attributes do you think a batter in T20 needs to have? I think it's different for every individual. It's a difficult question to answer because I can't speak on behalf of other players. To me, it's really important to be able to switch between gears. Once I get into a bit of a run, it's, I sort of lose track of where the game's at sometimes and I just want to keep going. So it's a little bit complicated, but to me, when I play my best cricket, is when I'm in such form where I can really just shift gears to get us across the line. Players like Lynn and Gail, I can mention quite a few that they are the kind of batters when they bat for five to ten overs, the game is almost out of your hands. So you don't want them to go for too long, but sometimes it can be a little bit inconsistent. Guys like Coley, a few others, not a lot of them come to mind now, but they masters of managing their innings in order for the team to get into a good position or to cross the line. So they are smart cricketers in a way where, they're not saying that Lenny and Gale and them are not smart cricketers, but they are more dangerous.